The cinematic classic Jurassic Park combined true spectacle with thought-provoking dialogue. One of the film's many great lines discusses the chaos theory, but what exactly is that? Dr. Ian Malcolm is a gifted mathematician from the University of Texas, specializing in chaos theory. An entire area of science is devoted to this study. The study is somewhat controlled, but not easily predicted in a middle ground of predictability. In one scene, he breaks down exactly what this means with Ellie when he puts two drops of water on the same spot. But the two drops travel in two different directions. This is the essential aspect of chaos theory. While the experiment had some parameters, meaning the water would fall onto her hand, there are still elements that cannot be predicted, whether it was the angle of her hand, the amount of water in the specific drop, or any of the thousands of other uncontrollable variables. This test is what scientists call a chaotic system. This practice is relatively newer in the science community. It began with Edward Lorenz, a mathematician and meteorologist in the 1960s. While trying to design a computer that could predict weather patterns, he discovered that this computer would have wildly different outcomes with almost the same data. He found that these very small variations could have massively different outcomes. These differences were so minor in fact that he compared them to a butterfly flapping its wings in the distance. This is where we get the term butterfly effect. You may also recognize this from the time travel film Back to the Future. When Biff from the Future gives his past self the sports almanac, it creates a butterfly effect that causes an entirely different future. While this example is extreme, it encapsulates this idea's essence. There is another famous line in the film where Malcolm says, anything at all can and does happen. This idea of limitless possibility is another reason Malcolm is so skeptical of the park in the first place. Despite Hammond's insistence that the park is safe, chaos theory states that something so small could destroy the whole thing. Something like a disgruntled employee working with another company to turn the security gates off the same night a thunderstorm comes. That is something that could feasibly happen, and obviously did, but would be almost impossible for Hammond to predict. Boy, do I hate being right all the time. This happens every single day to each and every one of us. However, when you throw in man-eating dinosaurs into that equation, it gets a little scarier. There is also the concept of the dinosaurs mating. Even though they're all genetically coded to be female, life uh, finds a way. You can also see Malcolm's appreciation for chaos in his character. His carefree attitude, which we see at the beginning, is a result of understanding this theory. He knows that no matter what you try to do, life will throw something else at you, so you may as well go with the flow. This is one of the many reasons Jurassic Park remains one of the best films ever. While the chaos theory was instrumental to the first Jurassic Park, it continues to be relevant in the franchise today, especially with Netflix's Jurassic World Chaos Theory. While Jeff Goldblum's Ian Malcolm has yet to make a cameo, the series title is obviously a callback to this famous theory. What do you think of Chaos Theory and how it applies to Jurassic Park? Let us know in the comments. Thanks for watching Screen Rant, and we will see you next time, if chaos allows it.